Never before had so many warriors and shield maidens taken arms together against a common foe. At the shores of Castra Ignis, the Imperium massed their forces, preparing to repel any attempt at invasion. This was to be the Ulfung's moment of triumph, or their final downfall.
again so we do they call me bellatrix infidel and it's my wish to see if you truly are a giant slayer <laughs> Fort Giant Slayer. Aye. 
I'm sure. Oh, alas, the Bishop of Forces of the Imperial. The God of God is with us.
Impressive. I've seldom fought a warrior of your caliber. I'm sure there's an innuendo there. Give me a moment. This must end here! I beg thee. Thou must return to Albion with me, Guinevere. My name is Bellatrix, and I am your queen no more. I have sworn an oath to the Imperium to protect it. The giants are coming. Methin has seen the signs. Oh, I will not go back to Albion. My queen, let me tend the wounds, I implore thee. as the augurs foretold. You have even more ridiculous. You bested my suffragan, the Bishop of Earth, just as was me. You defeated my prelate, the Bishop of Sea, Prisca. I am Hierarch of the Imperium Romanan. Now die, sir! Much as I would like to kill you. Perhaps you should see to your fleet first. Looks pretty toasty over there. Oh, dear! The Vanier will have their vengeance for this outrage. We shall meet again, barbarian. Quickly! Thou must leave before he can make good upon it. How's Bellatrix? She says thou art the giant slayer. Well, I don't like to brag. I entreat thee to aid my master, the King of Albion, in his hour of need. Please take this map. It will help you find my king. And I pray to the veneer that thou art the one we seek. The war wolf had won a great victory, angered a mighty enemy, and encountered an unlikely ally. The Black Knight had sought to bring back his queen, but she had renounced her crown and sworn to serve the Imperium. Now the fate of Midgard itself would be determined upon this distant archipelago, as all the Ulfung's enemies turned their attention towards Albion. Seeking the power to bring about Ragnarok, Grimnir and his new allies the Frost Giants crossed the water to Albion in search of the secret of the Eternal Well. The islands of this archipelago were under the protection of he who had trained me in the ways of the seer, Merthin, the Archdruid. Although a servant of the Aesir, he had sworn his service to the Knights of the Vanir, led by the King of Albion. But his true loyalty was to the land itself and his ancient rites had protected Albion from the growing threat of endless winter. Until the Frost Giants arrived. But it was not just Grimnir who threatened these distant shores, for Simul and her new allies, the Blood Drinkers, also sought the path to the Eternal Well. And with it, the power to bring about the end of us all. 
great victory, my chieftain. Every clan sings of your courage. Aye, that's great. But look at this map Palomides gave me. Mm, not without some modifications. But I've learned a lot from studying our enemy. If you can supply me with what I need, I'll be glad to improve your longship so it can survive the voyage. <laughs>